Hello, students. We are now skipping over to Lesson 18, Session 1. I'm on page 379. And this one is on comparing fractions. To be able to compare fractions, you have to be able to understand equivalent fractions. So if you are not confident in creating equivalent fractions, then um, I suggest that you go and use some of the other resources that I have posted to learn more about equivalent fractions and practice them or schedule tiger tutoring before you begin this lesson. All right, so on page 379, Adriana and June have granola bars that are the same size. Adriana eats two-fourths of her granola bar. June eats two-fifths of her granola bar. Which girl eats more of her granola bar? All right, so in this problem, we have that Adriana eats two-fourths of her granola bar, and June eats two-fifths of her granola bar. And we want to know which girl eats more of her granola bar. So I'm going to make two bar models, and I'm going to make two bar models that are the same size. This one up here is going to be for two-fourths, and this one down here is going to be for two-fifths. So I'm going to divide this one into fourths, and I'm going to divide this one into fifths. And you need to make sure that you make these as even as possible. Mine are not exactly even, but they're pretty close. All right, so on this one, I'm gonna hide, I'm gonna shade two of the four, two fourths. So that's half. Two fourths is the same as half. And down here, I'm gonna shade two fifths. And as you can see, it's just a tad bit less than half here. So that means that the two fourths is bigger. So um, Adriana eats more of her granola bar because two-fourths is greater than two-fifths. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to page 380. Okay. Look back, who eats more of her granola bar, Adriana or June? Adriana did, and we know that because she ate half, June ate less than half, okay? Deciding who eats more of her granola bar means comparing the fractions. Two-fourths and two-fifths. To compare fractions, you must use the same sized whole. That's very Im important. Because if one girl had a big granola bar and the other girl had a small granola bar, could you compare them? No. They have to be the same size of granola bar. So suppose you have two more granola bars that are the same size. Compare the fractions 3 fourths and 3 fifths using the area models to know who ate more. Use greater than, less than, or equal to to compare, just as with whole numbers. Okay, so right here we can see that 3 fourths is more than 3 fifths. So that means that 3 fourths is greater. But then over here they switch the two. So 3 fifths is right here and 3 fifths is over here. So 3 fifths is less than 3 fourths. You can use equivalent fractions to compare fractions with different denominators. So if since this one is 4 and this one is 5, we can do something to try to make them have the same. We're going to multiply these by this number, by the 5. And we're going to multiply the 4 I'm sorry, the 5 by the 4, okay? So um, 3 fourths is going to get multiplied by 5 because that's the, the denominator of the other one. 3 fifths is going to get multiplied by 4 because that's the denominator of 3 fourths. So 3 fourths gets uh, multiplied by 5 because it's the, the denominator of this one. 
of the one that it's being compared to. Three-fifths gets multiplied by four because it's the denominator of the number it's getting compared to. So three times five is 15. Four times five is 20. Three times four is 12. Five times four is 20. So now we have 15 twentieths, we're moving that here, compared to 12 twentieths. Well, 15 is bigger than 12, so that means 15 twentieths is bigger. And then look, so we know that 15 twentieths and 3 fourths are equivalent, and we know that 12 twentieths and 3 fifths are equivalent. So if this is bigger, that means this is bigger. Okay. Now down here at the bottom, suppose the granola bars were different sizes. Could you still compare 3 fourths and 3 fifths in the same way? No. See, look right here. This one is great big, and that one is kind of small. Um, so you can't compare them because they are different sizes. You have to have the same size whole to be able to compare those. Okay, let's take a look at page 381. And we're talking about the word common denominators. So this right here where we made both of these have 20 on the bottom, that is called a common denominator. So if you were comparing two fractions that have a different denominator, like how we compared 3 fourths and um, 4 fifths, I'm sorry, 3 fifths and 3 fourths, you can multiply to get a common denominator and then it makes it easier to compare them. So a common denominator in my own words is when, when two or more fractions have the same denominator. they have a common denominator. Okay, my illustrations. So we're gonna make two bar models here and we're going to make one that's one third. And we're going to make one that is one half. Okay. Now, because this is three and that is two, we want to get them to where they have the same. So I'm going to multiply one half by three because that's the denominator there which gives me 3 6 and then I'm going to multiply 1 3rd by 2 because it's the denominator down here and I get 2 6 so then I can even divide this up so now that's in 6 and then this one I multiplied by 3 so I have to divide each one into 3 And so now I can see that we're comparing 2 sixths and 3 sixths. And I know that 3 sixths is greater than 2 sixths. So that means 1 half is greater than 1 third. Okay, an example 2 fifths, 3 fifths and four-fifths all have the same denominator of five. What is not an example? Let's make a couple of bar models here and let's do two-fifths, and then two-fifths, 
to third. They do not have the same denominator. Okay, let's go down here to number two. All right, on number two, um, we're looking and we want two times something equals 10. Well, we know that two times five equals 10. Whatever I do to the top, I have to do to the bottom. So three times five is 15. Now, I'm comparing two thirds and two fifths. Well, two thirds I multiplied by five because the denominator on my other fraction is five. So over here, I'm gonna multiply by three because that's the denominator of my first fraction. So two times three is six, five times three is 15. Now I can compare 10 fifteenths times six fifteenths. Well, it's easy to say that 10 fifteenths is bigger. And if 10 fifteenths is bigger and it's equivalent to 2 thirds, that means that 2 thirds has to be bigger than 2 fifths. Okay, let's go ahead and turn to page 382. It's our last problem for this lesson. Okay. Donato and Amon have bottles of juice that are the same size. Donato drinks three-fourths of his juice, and Amon drinks three-sixths of his juice. Which boy drinks more juice? Okay, well, let's draw our models. We're going to make them the same size. Uh, Donato, we're going to divide it into fourths, and he drinks three. Amon, we're going to divide it into six, and he drinks three. So this is three fourths, and this is three sixths. So we can easily see here that Donato drank more, but I'm going to compare these fractions by making a common denominator. So I'm going to take three fourths. And since the denominator on the other fraction is six, I'm gonna multiply the top and the bottom by six, which is gonna give me 18 24ths. Then I'm gonna take the other fraction, three sixths, and I'm gonna multiply the top and the bottom by four because that's the denominator on the other fraction, which gives me 12 24ths. So now I'm comparing 18 24ths to 12 24ths and I can easily see that 18 is bigger than 12. Once you have a common denominator, it doesn't matter what these bottom numbers are, you just have to compare the top. So this one's greater than that one. And if this is 3 fourths, if 18 fourths is equivalent to 3 fourths, that means that 3 fourths is bigger than 3 sixths. And we already checked our answer and showed our work, so we don't need to do number four. That is it for this lesson. I will see you back for the next one.